Right before I drive away to forget Why do I give a damn at everything we say G'day guys, Chaos Chronicles. All right, we're back with another video and I'm answering a, another question by one of our awesome subscribers. This guy's actually been with me from the very start. Um, Mav Tyson has asked, G'day mate, do prison gangs hold more power than the bike clubs? Thanks for the vids. No worries, Mav Tyson. Thank you for your input. All right, so let's get into it. Well, the truth is, like, I guess, you know, like, bikies have got this big stigma. Um, you know, you see all this stuff on the news and, you know, you hear that they're bad people and you, you never hear anything good about bike clubs in the media. That's for sure. They have got an absolute war against the bike clubs. So you never hear anything good about bike clubs. And I guess, you know, the, the stigma kind of does carry on into prison but here's the truth right so you know i've said this in other videos and i've said it a number of times chopper says it very well in his movie we're all just bare bums in the shower and that is the truth and what that means is that person over there is no better than that person that person over there is no stronger than that person and that person over there is no crazier than that person so you know, the, the thing is, like, the the prison gangs are the people that hold the real power in the prison. And I'll tell you why. It's because over all the years of bike clubs being in prison, I guess not just the prison gangs, but everyone kind of said, you know what, fuck this shit, fuck them, and we have had enough of their carry-ons, you know. Um, I know of times when there's been whole units, like a whole unit, nearly 60 people and the majority of the people in there are bike club members, associates, affiliates, you know, and, and I think Port Phillip prison does it worse than any other prison. You know, I remember at some time, at some stage in Scarb South, you had the Finks and then the Mongols cause they'd done the patch over. And then in the back units you had, um, the banditos and then in uh, like that was i think the banditos were in swallow um you had the rebels and the comancheros in fishburn east and fishburn west and you know so you've got four clubs that are all pretty much warring on the outside and coming in bulk numbers so the prison if you go into the prison and you say all right i am from this bike club they are obviously not going to put you in on purpose with another bike club they're going to send you straight to where the rest of them are and therefore they gather they gather in groups and you know people have had just got to a point where they were like you know i ain't gonna let someone take my shoes just because they've got a patch on their back on the outside and you know the the prison gangs 100 percent hold more power than than pretty much anyone in the prison. And because, you know, it's power in numbers. And so like, I'll use the POWs as um, an example that, you know, if you mess with one POW member, gang member, you are gonna get attacked by every single one of them gang members at the same time. So if every single one of them is in the yard at that time and, and allowed out in the yard, they are going to be attacking you like five on one, 10 on one, 12 on one. They do not care. And they all have shanks. Some of them sticky tape them to their hands. It's, it's, it's a little bit crazy, you know? And so I, I guess the absolute truth is it doesn't matter how much numbers that the bike clubs have, the prison gangs will always hold more power and have more respect than the bike clubs. There's a bit of a there's a bit of a resentment, not a resentment, I don't know, but there's people that aren't in that bike club or an associate get treated like shit by them people, you know? And therefore, you know, the other general public that aren't gang members or bike clubs, they had enough as well. And yeah, I, I don't know how to explain it without making me sound like I'm giving bike clubs a bad rap because I'm not. But like the answer to the question with 100% honesty, I'm answering it is that the the prison gangs 100%
hold a lot more power, you know, and some of them old school prison gangs, like, you know, I always say, if you know, you know, you know, so, um, you know, TFW, um, MTS, POWs, um, and all the other acronym gangs, you know, um, those three in particular, like I know that all three of those gangs have ventured outside the prison walls. And if you go on Google, you will see that um, around the Sunshine area, around that side of Melbourne, MTS, the jail gang, really, really turned it up on the outside. Um, there was a few murders that had taken place and, you know, they, they put their hand up for that one. And so, yeah, I, I just 100% believe that there isn't a possible way in any prison that a prison uh, that a, a bike club could hold more power over the rest of the prison population. And don't get me wrong, there has been times when, you know, a lot of people would have done time and have witnessed this with their own eyes, that the the, the bike clubs are running that um, area of the prison, you know. And I guess, you know, everyone just had enough and everyone just stood up and said, you know what, F the bike clubs, fuck the bike clubs. Um, we're going to stand strong. And they did. And, you know, a lot of people, I remember there was one time I did make a video on it. Um, I, I won't mention the club, but I'll say they came from Scarb South and there was a big fight um, between that club and another group of um, like another race. So a whole race against this bike club. Um, this race had had enough and then so they all met up at the gym at the same time and it was literally like the civil war in america a standoff um and then they just attacked and ran at each other and you know anyone that was there will tell you that there was bodies lying around on the floor um i don't want to say that you know a, a race one or, or a bike club one um i'll say it was pretty even but a lot of people did get laid out and hurt. And um, so actually nothing even happened out of it. So by the time security got there, it was all broken up and they realized there was literally about 120 crims in there, five security. They had absolutely zero chance of maintaining that gym at that time. And as a matter of fact, it is because of this fight right here that everyone can't go to the gym at the same time anymore at Port Phillip. There was a time where um, at six o'clock, if you were on the enhanced um, level, you were able to go to the gym and mingle with other enhanced prisoners from around the jail, you know, but because of that, the big gang fight, the, the, the um, certain race against the bike club, and it was massive guys. Like I'm talking, there would have been 50 people punching on at the same time. It was literally like a scene out of Braveheart and people were just dropping like flies. People stood strong and, and, and went hard and did exactly what they said they were going to do. So they said that they were going to, you know, have a fight and, and whoever wins, wins. And, you know, this started, this fight actually started um, more fights. And, you know, there, there was a time when a certain bike club and another bike club met up at the gym and um, a big stab fest ensured and um, someone nearly lost their life. I believe they got stabbed like 17 times or something like that. And um, yeah, but you know, I've gone a bit off, to off topic there, but the answer to that question, Mav Tyson, is absolutely, I believe that the prison gangs always will, from any time now on, will hold more power um, than the bike clubs. Prison gangs will hold more power than the bike clubs. And I don't care what jail this is in, it's just a fact. You know, the prison population stood up and said, we've had enough of the bike clubs bullshit, and they st stood by it. Um, well, there you go, guys. That is the answer to that question. Um, also, guys, if you could chuck a subscribe up there, if you hit that subscribe and smash that bell, you'll never miss any of my clips. And um, chuck a comment in there, guys, and I will do my absolute best to answer your question with a video. Um, as long as it's a suitable question, and not a rude one or something like that, I will get in there and try and answer it with a video. Also, I'd just like to say the last week um, I've been a bit slack with my posting. Um, I kind of fell in a bit of a depression rut, but um, yeah, I'm all right now and um, back doing well. But um, yeah, plenty more to come. I'll pump out this video today. We're going to pump out another one today as well. So 
Watch this space, Cass Chronicles. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.